And we're joined now by Caroline McGilvery, who has some ways for us to stay healthy in 2016. Thanks for joining us, Caroline. Thank you very much for having me here. So tell us, what are some of the benefits of doing yoga? There are so many benefits for doing yoga. It gives us a lot of energy. It also helps balance out our body, mind, and spirit. And I'd say my favorite part is it reduces stress, builds core strength, builds flexibility, and also helps with balance. All of those things help and lead to longevity, which I don't know about you, but I want to live for a long time and be healthy while I'm doing it. <laughs> Great. So um, what are some yoga poses that are good even for beginners? I'd say starting with beginners, as long as they've gotten an okay from their doctor and it's okay to start a program, otherwise there's other variations, but some of my personal favorites are cat-cow, which is really good for lengthening out the back, being able to massage the back, which a lot of people do have lower back aches and sometimes have neck issues. I call it text next, <laughs> just for I'm doing too much uh, texting. Uh, as well as that, we also have, of course, Downward Facing Dog, which is another popular mainstay in terms of yoga. That one is a great one for lengthening out the back again, but as well, lengthening out the backs of the legs, the hip flexors. It's one of my personal favorites. As well as that, a three-legged downward facing dog where we have the option of stacking the hips one on top of the other. And what is lovely about that is it opens up the hips and in today's society we spend a lot of time sitting. So being able to open up hip flexors is wonderful for our, our hip health. But as well as that, it's also really good on a Chinese medicine level because um, I also do Chinese medicine. It's also really good for our creativity. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Caroline. Thank you. I'm excited. <laughs> Anytime I get to talk about yoga, it makes me happy. <laughs>